Yeah, our scripture reading this morning is from Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, and from Genesis 1, 27. So Ephesians passage says, Now your attitudes and thoughts must all be constantly changing for the better. Yes, you must be a new and different person, holy and good. Clothe yourself with the new nature. And then Genesis 1.27 says, So God created human beings in God's own image. In the image of God, we were created, male and female, we were created. Ephesians. Efesios 4, 23 a 24. Deben renovarse espiritualmente sus actitudes y pensamientos y revestirse de la nueva naturaleza creada a imagen de Dios y que se, des se distingue por una vida recta y pura, basada en la verdad. Génesis 1, 27. Y Dios creó al ser humano a su imagen. Lo creó a imagen de Dios. Hombre y, y mujer los creó. So there is a debate in Christianity as well as out there in the world about whether it is actually possible for people to truly change. And some people say, yes, you can actually better yourself. You can change. And then there are others who say, no, you can't really change. You are who you are. Hay un debate antiguo entre los que afirman que las personas pueden cambiar y mejorar y los que afirman que no podemos, somos lo que somos. Even the scriptures contain this argument between those two sides and I chose two passages that actually reflect that. The first one, you know, basically argues for the fact that you not only can change but you should change to the better, you should better yourself every day. And the other one saying, uh, no, God created us in God's own image. And that God doesn't create junk. That God doesn't create anything that needs to be improved, right? So those are the two arguments right here. Las escrituras también parecen contener este argumento. Como muestran los dos versículos anteriores en el libro de Génesis, dice que hemos sido creados a imagen de Dios. Es decir, somos lo que somos. Somos personas buenas. Y Ephesios nos anima a cambiar, a ser personas mejores y diferentes. So which one's true? Um, am I who I am? Can I change myself? Can I reinvent myself or not? Can people truly change? ¿Cuál es la verdad? ¿Eres quien eres? ¿O puedes reinventarte? ¿Pueden las personas cambiar de verdad? Now, Psalms... Like we sang earlier, earlier, Amazing Grace talks about a drastic change, right? It talks about the possibility of, of, of receiving forgiveness, of starting new, turning a page. And that's actually one of the things that really attracts me to Christianity. You know, it's just, just that possibility of change. Canciones como la que hemos cantado antes, Amazing Grace. Expresan la experiencia de que podemos cambiar, de que podemos ser cambiados por Dios, de que podemos hacer borrón y cuenta nueva y empezar de nuevo cuando hemos fallado. Y eso, ciertamente, es para mí uno de los mensajes más increíbles que ofrece la religión. And then there are those who say, oh no, no, we're, we're based on our genes and whatever, you know, we are, we are because of that and because of our upbringing. Um, like my personality, my outer appearance, and let's face it, I'm probably a Christian because I was brought up by Christians, by a Christian family. Like if I had been uh, born, let's say, in India, would I be Christian? I don't know. I probably would be Hindu, right? Por otro lado, hay quienes que dicen somos lo que somos en función de nuestros genes y nuestra educación. Yo nací con ciertas características innatas que dan forma a mi aspecto exterior y a mi personalidad. Soy cristiano por mi educación. Si hubiera nacido en una familia, por ejemplo, India, lo más probable es que fuera hindú. Now there is a short video I want you uh, to see this morning. 
And it is about a man who faces this dilemma to a degree that it becomes an identity crisis. A Muslim man discovers that he was adopted and that his parents, his birth parents, were actually Jewish. So he was born Jewish. Hay un video breve que quiero que vean sobre un hombre para él este dilema se convirtió en una crisis de identidad. Un hombre musulmán que descubrió que era adoptado y había nacido judío. Now, both Islam and Judaism uh, confirm that what you are born is your identity. So this makes this man's journey a living hell on earth. And he's in a real crisis. It's actually a, a real fun movie to watch with a really, really great message. So I, I recommend it. But let's, let's watch the trailer after the translation. Tanto el Islam como el judaísmo enseñan que la forma en que naces forma parte de tu identidad religiosa. Así que puedes entender la gravedad de la, del problema de este hombre. La verdad es que es una película divertida con un mensaje muy bueno. La recomiendo. Look at all this stuff. You were adopted at the age of two weeks. My birth name, I need to know. I'm afraid not. Can I just look at that, please? This is it. I'm going to close the Solly Shimshilowitz. Solly Shimshilowitz? Why don't they just call you Jew, 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 Jew and be done with it? Jew! Jew! Know about Jews. They've got big noses. Got a moment for with you. I can blend in. Oi. Exodus. Futs. Geschmack. Rabbi, Rabbi, my foreskin has grown back. <laughs> Is it what they call that a shrug? It's a shrug. That's not a shrug. Anti Semite. Islamophobe. There's something I've got to tell you. It's a hot girl, isn't it? Punishment for this is death by stoning. Mazel tov. Yes, I gotta have faith. Well, I'll give me a break. You find out you're Jewish and suddenly some bloke in a uniform is leading you away? That's ridiculous. So you can tell this, this movie is a lot of fun, but it, it also has a really good message. And the proposition of this film uh, gives the question, can people truly, <laughs> truly change an additional weight, doesn't it? Y la propuesta de esta película da a la pregunta, ¿puede la gente cambiar de verdad? Un peso adicional. So, with these two questions, can people truly change or are they the way they are? Um, watching this movie, I came to the conclusion that both theories are valuable. They can both be true. Because in the end, after a long journey of confusion and learning, Mahmoud, the guy in the film, came to the conclusion that he is who he is, the way God made him. Así que, viendo esta película, llegué a la conclusión de que ambas teorías son valiosas. Porque al final, Tras un largo viaje de confusión y aprendizaje, Mahmoud llegó a la conclusión de que él es quien él es, la forma en que Dios los hizo. Now, Mahmoud realized that uh, just because uh, he discovered that he was born Jewish didn't really change him or his essence as a human being, so he accepted his Jewishness along with his Muslim identity and came to the conclusion that they're not so different. In fact, he discovered that the God of the Jews and the Muslims is one of the same God. Mahmoud se dio cuenta de que no cambió solo por estas circunstancias recién descubiertas. Así que aceptó su condición de ser judío junto a su identidad musulmana 
y llegó a la conclusión de que no son tan diferentes. De hecho, descubrió que el Dios de los judíos y de los musulmanes es un mismo Dios. So I truly believe that God made us in God's own image. And God made us all, all of us, every single person that lives on the earth, good people. I truly believe that. Así que, realmente, creo que Dios nos hijo a todos a su imagen y semejanza. Y eso significa que todos somos buenas personas porque Dios no crea basura. So, why do people cause so much harm, uh, so much strife, so much hurt, even crime? I still believe that all of these people who do these things aren't bad by nature. Remember, we are all created in the image of God. Entonces, ¿por qué la gente causa tanto daño, perjuicio e incluso crimen? Sigo creyendo que todas esas personas que hacen cosas malas no son malas por naturaleza. Recuerda que todos hemos sido creadas a imagen de Dios. But it is also true that oftentimes, especially those people that do bad things, do not know who they truly are. And that's when they do bad things or when bad things happen. Because they don't know who they really are, they're going through an identity crisis. Pero también es cierto que las personas a menudo no saben quiénes son y están confundidas. Y es entonces cuando actúan mal y hacen cosas malas. Porque no saben quiénes son realmente. Están pasando por una crisis de identidad. And sometimes when people act like asses, It's because they got hurt themselves. It's because they are damaged people. Y a veces, cuando la gente se comporta como un imbécil, es porque les han hecho daño. Son personas dañadas. So when we experience people changing and bettering themselves, I think they're just getting back on track. They're just getting back to their true selves. They are finding themselves, and as they do, they become better and happier people. Así que, cuando experimentamos que la gente cambia y se mejora, creo que están volviendo a su verdadera yo. Cuando la gente se encuentra a sí misma, se vuelve más feliz y mejor. And when people overcome their past hurts, And as they heal, oftentimes in the church, oftentimes by God, they become people that no longer want to harm anybody else. In fact, these people generally want to make this world a better place. Cuando las personas superan las heridas del pasado, se convir convierten en personas más sanas y las personas que no cargan con el dolor emocional no tienen ningún interés en herir a los demás. Normalmente intentan hacer del mundo un lugar mejor. So if you ask me, do people change? Can people change? I'd say, they don't really. It just appears that way because they are becoming who they really are. And they are finding themselves and are getting back to being the person that they were deep down all along. Así que, si me preguntan si la gente cambia, yo diría que en realidad no lo hace. Solo lo parece porque se están convirtiendo en quienes realmente son. Se están encontrando a sí mismos y están volviendo a ser la persona que en el fondo siempre fueron. I want to conclude this message with a little story, a little uh, parable. Quiero concluir este mensaje con una historia que explica este punto. Once there was a poultry farmer who, um, on a, mi a mountain hike, found a young eagle that had fallen out of its nest. And uh, he brought it back home to the farm and put it 
among the fowl, the ducks and the turkeys, and gave it chicken feed to eat. Había una vez un agricultor que, en una excursión por la montaña, encontró una águila joven que se había callado del nido. La llevó a la granja y la colocó entre las llaves, los patos y los pavos, y le dio de comer alimento para pollos. Now five years later, a naturalist visited the farm and spotting the bird said, That bird is an eagle. It's not a chicken. Yes, said the owner, but he thinks he's a chicken. He's no longer an eagle. He's a chicken. No, said the naturalist. He's an eagle still. Has the heart of an eagle and I will make him fly up high. Cinco años después, un naturalista visitó la granja y al ver el pájaro dijo, ese pájaro es una vida, no un pollo. Sí, dijo el dueño, pero se cree que es un pollo, ya no es una vida, es un pollo. No, dijo la nat el naturalista, sigue siendo un águila, tiene corazón de águila y la haré volar hasta el cielo. I doubt that he will fly. He behaves like a chicken. So they agreed to do an experiment to see if the chicken eagle could learn to fly. Dudo que vuele. Se comporta como una, una gallina. Así que acordaron hacer una, un experimento para ver si el pollo águila podía aprender a volar. The next morning, the naturalist rose early and took the eagle up on a nearby high mountain. The sun was just rising and he picked the eagle up and said, Listen, you are an eagle, not a chicken. You belong to the sky, not to this earth. Go and fly and be free. A la mañana siguiente, el naturalista se levantó temprano y llevó al águila a una alta montaña cercana. El sol acababa de salir cuando la levantó Y le dijo, escucha, eres un águila, no un pollo. Perteneces al cielo y no a esta tierra. Ve y vuela y se le ve. So the eagle looked around and, and trembled as if new life was coming into it. And after a few minutes, it suddenly stretched out its wings and, and with a screech of an eagle, it flew off higher and higher never to return. It was an eagle, though it had been kept as a chicken. El águila miró a su alrededor y se estremeció como si le llegara una nueva vida. Y al cabo de unos minutos extendió de repente sus alas y con un chillido de águila voló cada vez más alto para no volver jamás. Era un águila. Aunque había sido domesticada como una gallina. We have been created in the image of God, although often people make us believe we are chickens. So, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we're not. We're eagles. So let's stretch out our wings and fly. Let's discover who we truly are and let's start living free like eagles. Hemos sido creado a imagen de Dios, pero la gente nos ha hecho creer que somos pollos y así no creemos. Pero somos águilas, así que extendamos nuestras alas y volemos. Descubramos quiénes somos realmente y empecemos a vivir como águilas. Amen. <laughs>